It's Doc Terrell again. Uh, I'm here to introduce you to another uh, a really good recipe of mine. It takes just maybe just a few minutes. Probably the easiest batch of uh, anything you've ever made. I call it Doc's Oatmeal and Fudge Cookies. And I'm showing this to you on the 25th of November 2011, just in time for all the holidays. Again, very, very easy to put together and even just as quick almost to, uh, to um, actually cook it and get it on the plate. Ingredients call for two cups of sugar, one half cup of cocoa, whether it's name brand or generic, either way, a half a cup of milk, one stick of butter or margarine, one teaspoon of vanilla, and three cups of oatmeal, and that can be either instant or regular. And uh, I've pretty much got everything already set up here. Again, it just took me just a few seconds, just a few seconds to put this stuff together. And uh, you can even get the kids in here. I'm going to go ahead and start off there on my stove. And uh, what you're going to start off with is you want to go ahead and start off with adding your milk. Again, your half a cup of milk. Okay, half a cup of milk. And then your, your two cups of sugar. Your two cups of sugar. And I like to kind of get that all, in, I don't want to say infused, but all that stirred up and everything. It'll start to, uh, it'll actually start to mix, start to blend together uh, quite nicely. I'll bring my camera down so you can see a little bit of it as it starts to melt. And it's already started to do so. And of course, sugar will melt down to a liquid state. And then we will go ahead and add in our cocoa. And again, the cocoa uh, that we're putting in, it's only a uh, half a cup of cocoa. Again, generic or, or a name brand, whichever you like to use. And I like to mix this in thoroughly. It's going to... Uh, uh, looks like it's still dry. Um, the chocolate will still look like it's dry, but it will actually blend into the sugar and the uh, milk quite nicely. And it takes just a few minutes for it just to heat up. And what you'll do is you'll actually um, um, you'll stir and bring to a boil uh, the milk and the sugar and the cocoa. You bring it to a boil. And then once you've got it to the boiling stage, we're not going to be using, by the way, we are not going to be using a, um, a, a candy thermometer here, okay? So once it starts bubbling, okay, um, then we'll go ahead and toss in our stick of uh, butter uh, that we've got here. And uh, pretty much already got that set aside. These are also what I call no-bake cookies. Uh, you really don't bake them at all. And I dare say you'll find these to be much cheaper making them at home than you would be able to buy them in the store. And you want to make sure that you're always uh, stirring, and I use a metal, of course I'm using a metal pan, but I always use a metal whisk to make sure that I'm actually scraping the bottom of the pan so nothing sticks and burns. I don't know about you, but the, one of the nastiest tastes you can have in a candy is that burnt chocolate taste. It kind of ruins the whole thing no matter how tiny of a spot you've got. Okay, not quite bubbling yet, so we'll just continue. And again, this is a real fun project to have with the kids that uh, might, rather than getting them in the way and having them get in trouble doing things while you're busy at the stove, you can always have them helping put this together. Very, very, very easy to do. I was blessed in having a grandmother that uh, enjoyed having me in the kitchen. I used to get in trouble myself and then she put me to work and I really, really enjoyed it. Okay, it's starting to steam just a little bit, you can probably see. starting to smell the chocolate. Just 
Still waiting for it to boil here. It just takes a couple minutes. Okay, as you can see, it's starting to boil. So this is what I want to go ahead and put in my, my stick of butter. Okay, and again, you can either use butter or uh, margarine. And I stir that in. And again, make sure you're always, always, always stirring this. Um, you don't want to have it stick and burn. And it usually takes about two minutes or so for everything to get well infused. Everything's melted. And then once you've uh, once you've got everything in here, uh, once the butter has melted completely, and you can see the, uh, the stick is almost gone. Almost thoroughly melted in here. It doesn't take long for it to melt at all. See, that's pretty much what's left of it right now. So I said we're pretty much done with that. Okay, that's pretty much done. Turn the stove off, and I'll go ahead and move this over off onto the counter here. And uh, let's just see what I'm doing from a different angle. Let me zoom that in just a bit for you. Or better yet, I can go ahead and, since I'm kind of doing this as a, on a uh, impromptu basis, I guess I could just move the uh, move it over and bring this closer to the camera. Okay, very good. So again, we've removed it off the heat, and you know, just that few seconds, uh, maybe 30 seconds or so, or 40 seconds that I wasn't stirring it, it's already, you can feel it on the bottom, uh, already starting to stick. And then now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and add our oatmeal. Actually, before we add the oatmeal, we're going to go ahead and add our uh, vanilla. And again, the vanilla uh, that we're adding is going to be uh, one teaspoon. And I kind of do it by, uh, I'm just going to test right here. Might be a little bit more, but it's okay. Okay. Now from this, I'm going to switch over to my trusty rubber spatula. Because if I did use that, uh, okay, and I'll just do that just a little at a time. Get it nice, thoroughly mixed. And again, this is going to be using uh, your uh, three cups of instant or regular oatmeal. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to thicken up quite a bit. And then what you do is you'll take spoonfuls of this, usually a tablespoonful, I guess, um, and you want to dollop these out onto wax paper and then let them cool. Okay, the next, uh, what we're going to do next here is that uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, 
uh, transfer everything over to a wax paper. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, we're back now and we've transferred everything over here to the counter. And uh, so now all it is is just a matter of, um, all it is now is just a matter of uh, transferring this over onto a, either, a, like I said earlier, either wax paper, which I thought I had, but I don't. But you can do the same thing with aluminum foil. So uh, just press it out here, evenly spaced. And uh, depending on how big you make the cookies, uh, obviously you, it's up to you. And it usually takes about oh, 15 to 30 minutes, depending on, uh, yeah, 15 to 30 minutes for them to cool. Be prepared to make quite a bit of these because they do, uh, <laughs> they do quite, they do go quite fast. So anyway guys, that's pretty much it. Um, pretty self, uh, pretty straightforward, pretty self-explanatory. And um, uh, a lot of fun to make. Very easy to make, as you can see. Uh, preparation time is probably five minutes, three minutes maybe. And uh, just about as quick as what you can get out of the uh, out of your pantry and on the counter. So again, uh, another great act, another great activity to have the kids come in and enjoy, even spooning them out. You might make a little bit of a mess on the uh, on your aluminum foil, but hey, why not? Okay, guys, have a great day. And again, uh, this is Doc Terrell, and I've just introduced you to what I thoroughly enjoy is Doc's oatmeal and fudge cookies. You guys have a great holiday. Bye bye.